Mike, I asked you not to call me. I, I know. I don't mean to bother you. I just had to speak with you. Are you okay? Well, that's my question. I just... I just want to know how you're feeling. How, how's our baby doing? Okay. No lectures, no warnings. I just want you to be happy for me, okay? Well, I can't be happy for you until I know what you're talking about. So I didn't tell you? I don't think I want to know. Jackson and I are getting married. Well, they've said he didn't rush right over here and tell you that Jax and I are getting married. Carly, he's got a lot of things on his mind. He always has time to interfere in my life. How do you find out? Did you just tell him? No, I didn't tell him. He found out from Morgan before I had a chance to from tell him. Mor how, Morgan? How does Morgan know? Because Jax needed to make sure that my engagement ring fit, so he made Morgan go get one of my other rings so he could measure it. Oh, that's good. Using a four-year-old. That's nice. Not using a four-year-old. He swore Morgan to secrecy, and they were whispering and giggling, and I bribed, pleaded, and did everything I could to get it out of Morgan, but he wouldn't tell me. And then Jax asked me to meet him at the Elm Street Pier. Yeah, I remember. Well, after you left, Jax took me for a walk, and when we came back to the pier, he had it set up like a tiny little romantic restaurant, and we had dinner, and he popped the question. And you said yes, just like that? No, not just like that. We discussed it, and then I said yes. Hey. I want you to be my best person. I want you standing there right next to me when Jax and I exchange vows. I don't know about that. I don't... What do you mean you don't know? Well, this wouldn't exactly be the first time that you rushed into something without thinking this about it. This is not sudden. Jax and I have known each other for a long time, and we were in business together twice. Yeah, and the first time was a complete disaster. Okay, yes, I hated Jax. That's what makes this so amazing, Jason, because we've worked through that and we've come out the other side. Come on. You have been there with me through every important moment in my life. I want you right there with me for this. I love Jax. And I really need you to be happy for me. So you please, 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 please be my best person, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now we have to make you happy. I'm fine. No, you're not. But you don't. We're going to fix that. I'm going to get you back together with Sam, even if you turn out to be the father of Elizabeth's baby. The baby and I are doing fine. My morning sickness is pretty much just in the morning now, thank God. Well, I'm happy for you. Hey, how, how'd the sonogram go? I heard the little heartbeat, and Dr. Lee says that everything looks good. God, that's, that's great news. Hey, you know what? Um, I gotta go. Uh, I got a session in five minutes. Hey, um... I'm really glad you're getting better. I'm doing it for you and our baby. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye. Lucky on the phone? Yes. <clears throat> Look, Elizabeth, I... I want to apologize. Come on, I know I came down really hard on you yesterday. Well, you think I seduced Jason. No, you didn't. Clearly. You didn't. Clearly, I get that now. You didn't get pregnant on purpose. Well, for what it's worth, I probably would have had the same reaction. That's decent of you to say, but... You are in a really difficult situation right now, and I shouldn't have taken my pain out. Well, thank you for your apology. Hopefully, this baby will turn out to be Lucky's. Yeah. I mean, I, I hope so, too. Elizabeth, I mean, don't you think that Lucky has a right to know the truth either way? Elizabeth, I didn't even want to get married again anyway. I thought you were liking this whole independent thing. I am. But I love Jax, and I want to share my life with him. It's your decision. Why don't you stop changing the subject? Why don't we talk about you and Sam? Because she has to be going through hell right now. Yeah. I, uh... I came home and found Sam in what would have been the baby's room. Did you guys talk about that? 
and she uh, she came straight out and asked how I could refuse to give her a child and give Elizabeth one. You know that, that that's not what happened, right? Sam's thinking with her heart right now, not with her head, Jason. But Elizabeth gets to have what Sam's always wanted, and that's your child. I just, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to reassure Sam. Sam's biggest fear has to be that Elizabeth is going to capitalize on this pregnancy and want to move right in. And that Sam's going to lose you forever. Can you look at me and tell me that that couldn't possibly happen? Hi. You're the last person I expected to see. I'm so, I'm sorry. I uh, to hear that you were in rehab. I mean, I'm not. I'm not sorry that you were here. I'm just. I'm sorry you had. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad Jason it's... told you, didn't he? Jason? It's true. I tried to frame Jason for a drug possession. I was desperate. Lucky, you weren't thinking clearly. <sighs> I used that excuse for months. I had all sorts of reasons for not breaking my drug addiction. I was in denial. I blame other people. <laughs> my job, Elizabeth. Max, see the pressures of family and career and... You had a lot of pressures. So does everybody. I mean, it's part of life. The bottom line is I have to take responsibility for my own action. I want to get better for Elizabeth and our baby. But ultimately, it has to come from within inside me. You know, I'm going to be not just the man, but the husband. The father that I've always wanted to be.